Now I'm going to calibrate the Z and here's some dumb things that you could possibly forget and screw things up. So I've got it set at zero. I zeroed it out. So now I'm just going to test and see how far I can go before I bottom out the spindle. And that's 48. So I don't really want to go 48. I'll just do 40. So I'm going to go back up. So I can't really touch the bottom there. So I'm going to just double check everything. Set that back to zero. And then check and see where my spindle is about to hit bottom. And also make sure not only is the spindle not going to hit, but make sure you don't hit right here either. So it's at 41.9. So I'll just do 38 when I do my calibration. So I'm going to go back up. zero this out go back into my settings steps per pick the Z and we're gonna go down so you want to make sure you do a negative number so negative 35 is what I'm gonna pick for my Z so now I'm gonna hit OK And there we go, 34.99, pretty accurate.